All right, let's install ArcaSim Racing X or ASRX I'm on the Sim Factory League's website on the Getting Started page. Click the download link. Download the installer. Run the installer. Okay, the installer prompts for an install location and defaults to CASRX. You can put this anywhere you like, but I suggest that you do it in a folder directly off the uh, root of your hard drive. Don't put it under program files. Um, if you type in a name here, it'll create the folder, but the important thing is that you put this in a new location, a folder that doesn't have anything in it already. After it installs the launcher, it starts the launcher. Take a quick look at this. This top box here shows all the events that are upcoming, the next 15 events that are scheduled. The bottom tabs show all the items that you can download. You can download them manually, but the nice thing about the launcher is that when you select an event and you click to launch and connect to that server, it will determine what needs to be downloaded for you and it will prompt you uh, to, to allow it to do that. So for the first time I'm going to run the sim, I'm just going to run it locally and not connect to one of the race servers. So I'm, I can either double click or highlight and then click the launch button. So you can see it's determined that all these items need to be downloaded because I haven't downloaded them previously. So I'm going to click yes and let it download all those things. Alright, this is going to take a few minutes depending on your download speed. Could be five minutes could be 10 minutes, so we'll be right back. The downloads are finishing up, just about done. It's taken about three minutes on my system. So the game is now launched. The first time the game's run, it's going to prompt us to create a profile. So I'm going to provide my name. That's the only required field. Okay, and then the game exits. Now we have two options at this point. If you haven't run ASRX before, you don't have any previous installations of Arca or Project X, you can go to the Options tab here, select the profile that you just created, and the option to reset profile defaults. What that does is set up the recommended settings for the sim as far as the quality of the graphics, um, with some of the vibration settings for the cockpit, things like that that, that most people uh, like to use. Another option is to go to a previous installation that you had of Arca and copy over your settings. I'm going to do that because quite a few people will use that option. So I'm going to go to a previous install that I had of Arca and there's two items I want to copy. The entire user data folder and Arca config INI. So I'm going to copy those and I'm go over to my new install folder which is CASRX and I'm going to paste and when it prompts me I want to copy and replace everything. So this will copy all over my setups, my controller file, so when I get in the game it should work just like it did before. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to run the game a second time. We're just going to go in and look at, make sure that everything is, looks like it's up and running. And then I'm going to exit and connect to a server. And then I'll complete the video. Alright, so we're going to go take a look at the showroom so we can see all the models. Here's the Cup Series. trucks. See so we've got defaults in here for each of the series. The idea moving forward is that all drivers will put their skins in folders that are pre-created by the install so that we don't get any mismatches. That way server admins won't have to uh, add cars to their servers. Okay, so everything looks like it's in good shape. Last thing I'm going to show is connecting to a server. I'm going to pick this Gen 6 race here. This is just a test item that we have set up. Double click. 
Okay, now you can see here it's decided that there's something else to download because it sees that I'm connecting to a race at a league that has some league cars. Uh, just for brevity of the video, I'm going to say no, but if I didn't download them, then I would just see all those people in generic skins. So this time, instead of dumping me at the main menu, it's going to go ahead and connect to the server automatically. Okay, I do get this prompt on Windows 7 asking if it can go out to the internet. I need to allow access. So this is the car that I'm going to use just for this example. Now we're connecting to the server and loading the track. And there we go, I'm on the server. Alright, I think that's it.